Marjorie Wildcraft with Grow Your Own Groceries here. I was recently traveling in the Pacific Northwest and I made a new friend that had a spectacular garden. Uh, his name is Peter Paul. He's married, has two kids and a full-time job. And he's growing food primarily because he just loves being out in the garden and also he wants to make sure his family is getting really safe and nutritious food. When I asked him what was his secret and what was he using for fertility, he showed me an amazing system with a worm bin that he's using. And I right there, I, I did an off-the-cuff interview with him because I really love this idea and a pretty amazing interview and I wanted to share it with you. So the reason we started this compost bin is we live out here in the country and we were I was trying to build a, a compost pile with my uh, kitchen scraps and really I was just feeding the raccoons and the skunks and come out and you know they'd tear it apart and all that'd be left would be the orange peels <laughs> yeah. and so uh, so uh, a neighbor of mine another friend of mine actually told me that he had a worm bin I went over and looked at his worm bin I was like hey I got a stock tank and uh, and so I started and since then we have turned all our kitchen scraps into you know the best stuff possible for your food you'll see that I just have a bunch of leaves on top and you can see some of the worms scrumming around here in that. And what I do is underneath I drop, I pull it back and I drop it. So this is where I last dumped it. So here's the fresh compost from the last time I dumped it. And you can see the worms are already getting in there and doing their thing. And I work from one end to the other. So this is where compost was dumped probably about a month or so ago and you can tell it's pretty much it's pretty much done. Nice. Very nice. So you just keep adding uh, yep. compost to this in different places? Yeah, I start here and then I'll work down. Mm -hmm. and nice. like, it takes about a month to go all the way across. And I put all our kitchen scraps in here, some stuff from the garden. Do you feel okay dumping meat or bones or feathers? Yeah, or? I'll show you. There's it. If you have an indoor bin, you probably don't want to put the meat in there and such. But um, with the outdoor bones, there's actually it's not just worms in here. There's a, a fly in here. Let me see where I can find the larva. And the larva eat the meat. So it's actually a. Uh, it's not just a. Here, here's one those will work on the meat and so um so you're not necessarily just have a worm bin you've yeah, got you've got a whole composting system uh, uh, well i didn't introduce those introduced self-introduced themselves they showed up all on their own right. so uh the compost is really hard to in, in this system hard to get at like i have to dig it out and hand separate it and it's something i do on a warm spring day but what I really like to use, and it's easy to use, is the worm juice. So under here, this is set at a slight slant. There are a bunch of holes drilled in the uh, in the tank, and oh. it collects what I call the worm juice. And uh, it's it's really compost tea, but the worms do urinate, <laughs> make water while they're doing that, and then so. Uh, when I'm not using so much in the winter, I store it. Oh, nice. How keep it. So in the spring, I offer it to my friends. I sell some. And, uh, and I use it for direct feeding, foliar feeding, uh, both. Nice. And you've seen uh, incredible results using oh, this. Oh, yeah. When I started using this for uh, feeding the plants, uh, the first year I did it, my tomato plants grew faster than my sunflowers. Before they fruited, they were about seven feet tall. And then they fell over a little bit, of course. I, I couldn't believe it. Wow, and, I heard, and I've heard you made some really good trades. Yeah, I <laughs> traded uh, five gallons of this for an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I offered up to some uh, some other friends for, for their gardens and stuff. But anyway, just keep it covered. And last year I got about uh, 30 gallons just over the over the winter time. When I started the worm bin, 
what I did was I filled it about two thirds full with uh, uh, composted manure, fresh manure, and uh, leaf and straw. And they really liked the carbon. Uh, and then, and then uh, let it set for about uh, two weeks. And then ordered some worms. The worms showed up. I put them in and started adding compost. Wow, how long was it before you started getting juice out of it? Oh, immediately. Oh, really? Neat. Yeah. yeah. As soon as I put the worms in, they started creating juice. And, and uh, you know, when you add dry material, you wet it down. Like, uh, if you come over and take a look again, the, the top layer, what I do is, this is composting, like the worms are up in here. But uh, every couple months, when this turns, gets really composted down, and really broken down, uh, I'll just bring uh, a bunch of the oak leaves that are, we have big oak trees on the other side, and I'll bring in a big a wheelbarrow of, of oak leaves and put a fresh layer on top. So they're composting not only the stuff underneath, but that, that carbon material down as well. Great. Where did you get your, were these just fishing worms that you got at the local store or no, did you get? I ordered them online. Uh, I can't remember the name of the website. Okay. But it was okay. for, it's about $20 a pound. And for this setup, I put in uh, five pounds of worms. Oh, nice. But uh, you can put in less. It just takes longer for them to multiply. Mm -hmm. And when they do multiply, let's see if I can find them in here. They make little, uh, their, their eggs. Let's see if I can find any in here. Here's one. Here's a bunch. Let's see if I can get this to zoom. See those little, those are going to be worms. Those are worm eggs. Those little eggs. Those little yellow. And uh, actually the smaller worms, like you want to have as many of them reproducing because the smaller worms are more vigorous They they as they're growing. The thing I like most about these worms is just how easy it is. Uh, it's a lot easier than uh, building compost piles, turning compost piles, you know, uh, I add compost to it maybe twice a week, you know, add the kitchen scraps, and really that's all I have to do. I get the juice out, empty the bucket every once in a while, and uh, other than having to spend an afternoon in the spring, you know, separating out the, uh, the worms from the compost, uh, it doesn't take much effort at all. Wasn't that amazing? So I've been inspired and I'm growing my, I'm going to be making my own worm bin right here. If you have any great suggestions, by all means, drop me an email. I'd love to hear about it, and I'd love to share it more with the online community that's growing among us. Until I see you on the next video, I'm Marjorie Wildcraft, and you can grow your own groceries.